So there may be evidence of cold copper rolling in North Africa, which still wouldn't be black Africa. Um, but it is conclusively proven that it's the Yamnaya or Proto-Indo-European who were once called the Aryans or who more clearly are the descendants of all Europeans and European languages, as well as Iranians, Afghanis, and India. They are the people who would become the Aryans um, when they went into Iran, calling it Aryan, and in India. And they would be the people who all Europeans descend from now. These were the people who forged metal. They brought about the Bronze Age, Brass Age, Copper Age, whatever you want to call it. They brought about brass and bronze, being able to uh, cast these as um, weapons. They also were the first people to um, ride horses, domesticate horses so much that they could ride them, as well as something changed their genetics for them to become lactose tolerant, which these things gave them strength to replace the people of Europe and whoever was living in uh, what was Iran and Afghanistan, Northern India, with their own people, their own descendants. Um, and again, they invented the trousers or the pants because pe before horse riding, people wore tunics or robes or togas or whatever you're going to call them. But let's go further. Who were the inventors of the automobile and airplanes? Were there any black African Africans that invented a car or an airplane? No. Any space agencies that took off from any black African countries? No. I mean, I think the idea of cultural appropriation you know, expanding out to, oh, you if, if it's not part of your culture, you can't use it. Well, then what do we say of black people? They can't use metal alloys or any metal that's, you know, been invented. They couldn't use plastics. They can't use uh, the light bulb. They can't use, I mean, Tanzania, when the English got to Tanzania, they found a group of people that still hadn't reached the use of fire, maybe they had forgotten it, but their group, their tribe, their clan did not know how to use fire. That's pretty huge. So should we not, should they feel guilty about using fire and woven cloth and um, mathematics, um, the written word, any European or Indo-European languages, um, Writing, since writing came from the Middle East, uh, pants, shoes, um, science, uh, riding in cars, helicopters, airplanes, spaceships. You see how foolish this goes? And it's real easy to flip it on them. As for things like, oh, well, they like rap. It's like, well, but you like riding on trains and in cars, and living in a representative democracy. I mean, how many things around us do we even just take, it's just taken for granted? Oh, well, that's not cu cultural appropriation because we take it for granted. Whereas rap, we don't take it for granted. Although those white kids and Koreans and Indians that do take it for granted, good. Because, you know, but the black people who just uh, take the accomplishments of all these whites and Asians for granted. But, you know, it's not cultural appropriation because... Well, because they say it isn't. Make it make sense. Peace to you.